What is up, Highway 83 Suzuki YouTubers? We're back, and I think I've got a video that's going to help out a lot of people. A lot of you folks with the Geo Trackers and Suzuki Sidekicks, you know the battle of the fan speed switch. You ain't got no heat, no AC, no air blowing anywhere. Perhaps you've seen our old video. Many years ago, I made a video about trying to fix this, squeeze it down, put some glue or a zip tie on it. So you might have seen that. I get a lot of questions about it to this day almost every day. So what we have tried to come up with is a replacement for the switch itself because if you've tried to purchase one, you may have noticed, ah, pretty freaking hard to get. And when they are available, they're expensive, they go fast. So we've tried to come up with any possible thing because you guys asked, hey, what else you got up your sleeve? I know you're a crafty young man. And I said, yeah. I got a couple tricks so I've been tinkering on this for a bit and I just got a little bug up my ass the other day to finally finish and make the video so this is the the unit you know that the switch goes inside of this whole plastic piece this is the problem now what I have here is a universal type switch from a different vehicle and it's not made for the geo tracker but we're gonna make it fit because it's going to give you the power switches low, medium, and high, and you'll be able to use it. But this is not a five minute fix. You will have to do some leg work on your end. I will provide the switch at a cheap cost. They will not cost very much, but you will be doing some work on your end to make it work. So if you're not crafty, this might not be for you, but a lot of you guys are cheap, thrifty. You want your stuff working and you don't want to spend a lot. So this is the switch that will be listed on our Highway 83 Suzuki website. Just a little switch here. And this is me, I spent some time here. I carved out a little bit of the black plastic in here and got it in there and I used a zip tie to hold it in there. It's, it's pretty snug in there, but you can do whatever the hell you want to make it fit properly or how you like it. But that's what I came up with for my trial run. This is still a practice job for me. So what you see in this video is just a, uh, preliminary wiring and everything is just hey hey man we're just making something happen giving you guys the ideas and you can run with it so this is what I did and that's what I'm gonna put in this one when I'm done this is just a little beat around truck so that's what it's gonna look like when it's done or at least how mine is gonna look like so now we are going to well one more thing while I got it because you guys asked a million times when you're pulling this thing out now it's a bitch to get this thing out of there you guys always say, hey, thanks for the video, but you didn't show removing this. Well, it would be a video of me cussing and cursing and my hands all ripped up because it's a pain in the ass, man. You don't want to see that video. You'd be like, oh, grr. But I'll give you a couple tips. Oftentimes, it's best to unhook these cords or the cables. There'll be three cables coming off and your little wires here. So the wires is obviously, but if you hook these, unhook the cables from this end, you'll be better because trying to get this little clip with it inside of there it, it's really not going to happen so you either got to basically cut this and have a replacement uh, cables on, on hand or unhook all three of them the other ones are longer and you're going to try and wrestle the whole thing through the radio entrance it's not easy but you can do it and it's got to be done or you can try doing all the work with it in the car especially that zip tie trick but hey it is what it is so now we're going to take a quick break and I'm going to be inside the vehicle and showing you what's up after this. Hiya! Ta-da! We're back inside of the vehicle and I'm going to show you how I just ghetto rigged up this wiring right quick to test the switch, show you that it works. And then from there, you can decide how you want to permanently install it. But this is the issue here. This is your, your unit inside of here. This switch has no clicks. It's just willy-nilly in there so no nothing was working i had already replaced the heater resistor which another video i showed you about so we have a good heater resistor in here make sure you have that before starting with this or else you're not going to get all the fan speeds now inside of here this is the connector that goes to the back of the fan switch now what i have here is an extender so for the video i can show you what the hell is going on here so now I plugged in my, this right here is actually going to be in this switch here, but I have this extension on just for the video. So I have my switch and this is temporary. 
I just have little connectors going into here, into here, and I have four of them plugged in, and we're gonna have the fan speed settings. Now, when you do your connections, you can cut it, you can uh, solder it and shrink wrap it or make a quick connector, hardwire, whatever you wanna do, this is just showing that it works. So now we've got our key on. I'm gonna put this up here because I don't know if you'll hear the fan motor, but you'll see it blowing. So now we've got setting Low. Ah, it feels good in here. It's hot outside. Medium and high. She's blazing, people. You got a switch that works, and you're cranking AC. You're cranking heat. Life is good, baby. So this is what it is. The, the switch will be cheap. I'm not going to name the price in the video because I don't want to be held to that price. Oh, man, you guys said that price was this, and you're blah, 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 blah. Nope. I haven't set the price yet, but we have a whole bunch of these switches ready to go. And from there, I can include a little wiring di diagram, I think, what I'm gonna do, so you can see which plug goes to which connector. That way, it'll simplify it quite a bit, because it takes a little messing around, or you need the wiring di diagram to know which is low, medium, high, and stuff like that. So this is what I've come up with. If you're interested in doing a little bit of leg work, it's going to work for you. It ain't going to cost a lot, but you will have some bloody knuckles and you are going to have to access this by any means necessary. Get it down to the radio box and work on it here. Then, then you don't got to pull the whole thing out. If you can just pull this down and work on it right here, if you've got small hands, if you want to pull the whole thing out, pull the whole thing out, but that's what we got. Turn that fan back on baby. Highway 83. This is our, our first, switch replacement we might have another one in the future but for right now this is going to get you up and running and where the hell is my beer give me a second here. oh yeah baby it's miller time ah, yeah. i hope this video helps you guys i'm 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 liking it i think we're on to something we'll see you on the next one